Hello! Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, if you're one of the very few that actually watched my first one. So on that one, I did a Timu haul. We're doing another one, a Temu haul, and we're doing another one today. Um, I've got another one that I should be doing tomorrow um, and hope to get on air uh, this or out there in the YouTube world. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about what I'm going to do. I think the first video I was telling the prices and it was taking a long time to do that for one and not always are the, the prices are never going to be the same as when I tell them to you because all the sellers always seem to have I mean they'll sell the same products a lot of times the sellers will but then they it's a competition with prices and you never know so I just I think I'm going to just show you the products and I will try to link my orders in my description and that way maybe you can just go through if you can't find it yourself you can go through my order maybe and find it there may be some items in those orders that I don't show you and it's probably because I've either lost it broke it's broken defective uh, and I well mostly just lost it I'm really really bad in fact I was searching before I did this video for my watch that I got uh, my little fitness watch and then I was searching for the charging cord for it so yeah and I, I lost a ring I it's easy to do for me I don't know why it's just me but yeah there's nobody to help me look for anything that I put down it's me and I put it down and it's here somewhere maybe one day I'll vacuum it up I don't know so let's get started I want to go over uh I have a cat. Her name is Boo. So I want to go over some of her toys that I've gotten with you. Uh, one of the flops, one of the very first, well, one of the very first things I got was just a little, uh, it was like a rat on a string that you had a very cheap little bracket that you put up on like a door frame. And it worked. I was, <laughs> I kept thinking this is not going to last. That sucker's it works. Now, does she want to play with it? She could care less about that. I don't know why. I walk by and run into it all the time, and it's got a stretchy cord, and so finally I just thought, I'm going to take it down because she's not playing with it. I put it away. Maybe later I'll put it back out and see if she'll go for it again. The second thing I got was this. Okay, you see anything wrong with this ball? This little ball is supposed to move around on its own. It won't. It does not work on carpet by the way, but there was a little uh, silicone piece that went over the ball where the charge cord was, and it was, it was hooked to the ball by the thinnest piece of silicone possible. Well, that broke. So, and the ball itself did not, I mean, it, I don't know what the battery is in this, but it does not last very long. I can get it started, but then every 10 minutes, it seems like I'm having to charge it in, charge it back up, which is disappointing because she actually liked playing with it. Um, but is it worth going and buying another one that if I fear that that's going to happen again, I don't, I don't want another one like that. So no, I'm not going to purchase this little ball again. What I did purchase was this little guy. So it comes with that. It comes with several rings. It comes with your charge cord, um, and it comes with several little. They look like bunny ears. I guess it's a, supposed to be a bunny. And then when you put this on there, that's the tail. This is amazing, and she. It will go over carpet. It will go over. It will run across hardwood, of course, but over carpet, it jumps. This thing is so fast, it is hard to keep up with. And I had to put a lot of things, I had to like block a lot of places because it was going places it's not supposed to go. Um, like around my, I was afraid it was going to go behind my washing machine, my refrigerator, 
uh, that kind of thing. But this is really cool. Now, I think I paid something like $20 for it, but it is worth it. And I saw this actually on Amazon. Okay, so it's going to... You see that? If I put this down... Okay, that little sound. She goes nuts. Because it sounds like, I guess, it's something injured to her. Maybe it sounds like an injured rabbit, sadly. I don't know. Poor thing. But she goes nuts over this and falls it, chases it everywhere. Now, the one thing I will say about this, and I wish I, I wish I could just demonstrate it for you, but um, it would take off and we'd be chasing it everywhere. Because it, and it, I mean, it literally can jump over things and flip, and it does flips and it goes back and forth and it is just see how it's going back and forth look at that I mean it's so I have to catch it to turn it off the where the button is let's hope it goes off can I get it off I mean I'm trying to get it off oh nope I can't catch it now I gotta wait until it stops oh there it is okay so there's the button to turn it off and on over here is where you flip this wait a minute you flip this up here. Say that. Oh, there we go. And that's where you charge it. At least this is one piece and not one little tiny. I mean, it was it was the size of sewing thread that was holding that little ball on there, uh, on this little ball here. And I don't know if you can see. Okay, see that tiny little hole right there? That's where the silicone thread went down in there. And then the little flap was over that. So it was no, it was, it was no time that thing was broke off. Okay. So this is amazing. She plays with it. She loves it. Highly recommend it. You take these off and on. So it comes kind of like this and then you don't get the, you have to put all of this on, but you get to change it. Now, the one thing they do say to do with this is clean if it gets to where it's slow it's because some of these little hairs or maybe hair on the ground on the carpet or whatever it's rolling on will get in, in between the wheels the turn in the turning mechanism here and then you have to pull it out and i have had to do that and it's usually some of this hair that gets stuck down in there and i have to pull that out so that's probably why they which there went some wow that was that was really interesting it's shedding Okay, so she's still going to play with it. It's still, it came with three. I think there's another ball, uh, tail in there as well. It comes with this little, is that the one that came with? It came with a screwdriver. Why did it come with a screwdriver? Is this the one that came? I don't think this is the one that came with a screwdriver. I don't remember any screwdriver. I have to do anything with a screwdriver. It comes with a charger and it comes with two of these and two tails. And I just lost the charging cord. Okay. So let's move on. And it comes in, it came in this box, which now I, I can get rid of. Just wanted to show you the box. But if you if you have a cat or a dog, I think I saw dogs playing with this on their video. This is available on Amazon as well. It costs more on Amazon. Not by much, but it costs more. But <laughs> it works. They had fun. They had lots of fun. Okay. Next thing, I don't like snakes. I'm a my son can tell you that I nearly knocked him off a cliff one time because I saw a snake. That would have been bad, right? He got scraped up because I ran over him. That's a whole whole story. And I don't even like to pick this thing up. And even though it's plastic, I know it's plastic. And it moves like a snake. And my cat loves this too. But it only runs on hardwood. Okay? Hardwood floors. And it's a sensor. So it doesn't sensor everything though. It doesn't sense sensor. It doesn't sense everything. Because usually like if you get up here, if it senses your hand, it backs up and then moves around. It'll go around some furniture. It'll back up around some furniture. Some furniture, it won't. Certain sacks I've had on the floor, it won't won't do anything. Cat, yeah, it'll back up on my cat. 
So she enjoys playing with this and it's fast. It's pretty fast. Now it will turn over easy if it hits a rug. I've had it do that several times. I've had to take up a couple rugs in the on the hardwood floor so she can play with it. Um, and then I put them back down when I don't want it down. Oh gosh, it's moving like a snake. So that's, that's that. Next, I want to show you this adorable. Okay, so my dad is going to be 92 in March. He loves bingo. So I take him to bingo once a week or more, depending on how often I'm taking care of him. Because he kind of expects me to take him to bingo anyway. Um, but anyway, everybody, when I go to bingo, the people who always seem to win are the people who bring all these little trinkets and they line them all up. And I've never understood that, but I thought, okay, looking on Tem Temu, I thought, hmm, what can I find that would be a good luck charm? Well, of course they have these little guides, right? And look at that, isn't it cute? It's a solar powered, <laughs> he waves his hand. So I'm going to put him in my car. And then when I go to bingo, I'll just take him out and I can take him in. And it's supposed to be like, see, it's got, it's got the little money bag. So it's supposed to be like fortune. I could use that. Good fortune. All right. Next thing up. Okay, ladies, if you ever buy those little paper masks that have the retinol or whatever other skincare treatments they put on there and you put it on your face for 10-15 minutes and then you walk, uh, take it off and then just let it soak in. Well, a lot of times those fall off. I mean, I want to get up and move or something. So I got these. Look at this. I'm going to put that mask on. And you could probably do it with just any mask. I mean, like if you put a scrub or something on, you could put this on too and let it sit there. But look at this. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, and it goes around the ear, and you wear it for like, oh, that's kind of, that's creepy, that's creepy. Okay, that's a Halloween costume. All right, but anyway, you put your mask on, and you wear that, and you could probably get up and move around a little bit too if you needed to, so, yeah. I think I paid 98 cents or something for that. It was very, very inexpensive. I actually got one for myself and my daughter. So we like to do that together sometimes. The next thing I want to show you is, okay, I have one of the automatic uh, pet watering bowls. It's a stainless steel one. You have a pump in it. It has a sponge filter that goes around it. And it also has a charcoal filter. So the other online store... I bought a pack of, you get eight filters, and uh, I got a pack of eight sp sponges. And those cost close to $14 or $15, I think, on that one. And on Temu, these are like $3.59. And there's eight. It's the same one. I got them out, I looked, compared them. It's the exact same one. Look at this. Now, talk about price difference. This is the ones I got. And I they're both made in China. Okay. Everything's made in China now. All right. We all know that. All right. So, see, they're exactly the same. There's no, no difference at all. I can see. Yeah, there's no difference. Sponges are exactly the same. That is a third of the price. Third. I know it was a third. I looked it up and I was shocked. So guess where I'm going to be getting all those little... And they even carry the pumps. So like if your pump breaks on yours, you can buy another pump. And they have them in all different kinds. Like So if you have an automatic filter water. Ow, ow, pet filter. Ooh, I got a cramp in my foot. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Cramp, cramp. <laughs> this is what happens when you get older. <laughs> Dog on it. I need some magnesium. So, uh, whew, that's better. So, they do carry all different kinds of filters for that and sponges. 
next thing I want to show you now I said last on my first video I said I'm not a witch right I'm not a witch but I do believe in different healing powers I do believe in energies that we are all made of energy so I have my uh, first husband was a, chiropr a chiropractor and he was into uh, the pendulums for testing he did a lot of muscle testing and things for or testing for vitamins and things like that well I kind of got out of it once we were divorced I didn't didn't mess around with it or anything um, I didn't do it myself because he was always doing it but uh, recently I have got back into it my, I've been trying it again myself and this is just really pretty I mean somebody could make a necklace out of it if they wanted so see those it's it's actual chakra colors I think it's actually little rocks that they put in resin and then they made this pendulum well when I got this this piece and it's still a little bit but not bad but this piece here was totally bent and it's a it's a sturdy metal but uh, it was bent and I had to put it back in place so I use this for testing my vitamins to see if uh, today I do I is this one gonna be working for me or not don't think I'm crazy please it's but just take a look at this so if you hold it over you I'm trying to try to hold it very still Okay. Very still. Okay. So it's kind of like hmm. you're just going back and forth. Right? So I got my vitamin. Let's see if it let's see if it works. Because I haven't taken these today and I probably do need them. That's probably why I got the muscle cramp. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. Let's see. I'm gonna hold it steady and I'm going to test if this is going to be good for me if it's good if it's good it's going to go uh, clockwise if it's not good it's going to go counterclockwise this is necessary I'm going to need this all right just keep oh I wish I could show you this I don't know here wait a minute let me see that I'm not spinning it sometimes it gets really it gets to a oh yeah, it says I need it. So that's going counterclockwise. Pretty strong. Okay, if I take it away. It's just going back and forth. Like, okay, what do you want? What do you what is it for? Okay. All right. So yeah, I did. I definitely need to take my vitamin. All right, that's not really witchy. It's more just energy testing type thing, more holistic type stuff. Next thing I want to show you. This is funny, and yet it's one of my favorite. I think it's my. It is my favorite purchase that I've got from Timu. Okay, but this is funny. So when I, <laughs> this is an eye mask. I have dry eye. I had a detached retina and they did surgery. So sometimes my eye gets red. So if this eye gets red, it's there's scar tissue built up in there. Sometimes both eyes get red. I have dry eye. But my doctor said you need to use a hot compress. So I always forget. I don't forget this. Uh, since I've gotten it, I don't forget. However, what's funny is why do they send you an eye chart? Do they know I'm blind? <laughs> I don't know, but it is a full eye chart. And it's not, it's not like this is going to make a difference in your eyes, in your vision. Okay, this is awesome, guys. This is it. It has like a vinyl in there very nice soft okay it turns on over here I think that's what
It says, welcome to the intelligent massager eye mode. It also plays music. It, play, it has its own music, but you can also hook it up to your Bluetooth. And then you can listen to other music. I'm trying to remember how you change it. You don't have to listen to music at all. Okay, and you can also just turn it off. Or you can hook your Bluetooth to it. It, it will hook up to your phone on your Bluetooth, if you, whatever Bluetooth uh, you play your music on. And it will hook up to that, and you can play music on that too. Personally, I don't like to listen to any of the music. I just like to have this on my face, okay? So, and just kind of be calm. Now, you can hear this. I want you to hear it. So, it is putting air, and it's... See how it's expanding? That's air in there. And then it deflates. There you go. It kind of makes this sound. But it will massage like in here, my temples. And it has a heat mode, which is what I need. So I hold this down and it goes to hot compress mode. And I put this on, and I can veg for 15 minutes. And if you have somebody, if you have dry eye and somebody says, hey honey, I need you to go take the trash out. You can say, I'm sorry, I'm doing my doctor's orders. And just enjoy getting that hot compress. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. Like I said, this is my favorite item. I've gotten so far. Thanks for using by. I think is what it says. It is amazing, but it is it is Bluetooth. Has a it's a head massage, multi frequency massage, hot compress, relaxing music, breathable mask, easy to carry, multiple airbag massage, Bluetooth music, sleep mode, large capacity battery. Yeah, come think of it, I haven't had to charge it since I've charged it. That's that's a plus, which I charged it. Last week? Last week sometime, excuse me. Last week sometime. All right, next item up. Ladies, let's talk. This right here is... I'm hoping that this will this will compare to a medical grade one that costs thousands of dollars, okay? My daughter, myself, and my sister, we went in and bought a medical grade, um, what do they call that? It's like a rejuvenator type thing. You put your, you put a, it's got red light, red light therapy in it, and uh, it has heat and massage or like a vibration in there that's supposed to stimulate the skin and it's supposed to be good for scar tissue uh, helps with you know smoothing wrinkles uh, what else okay so here's the deal we paid we all three went together to get this thing and we said we'll just go somebody will have it one month and every three months one of us will have it so yeah that's not very long and on that one, you're not supposed to use it, I think, but two or three times a week. And then you're supposed to use it thereafter in like two or time. I can't remember. It's it's very powerful. Well, this one is, it is a, it doesn't have all of the same LED lights. It doesn't have as many of them. I don't think it's as strong. I don't know. But I did look up on the National Institute of Health about the color ranges and the, what the colors on the blue, the green, the red, I think there's a purple, but the, that's the one thing I did not see on the National Institute of Health and talking about purple lights, which I'll have to look that one up again. But I saw something with purple on it the other day and I thought, 
why what's the purple what's the purpose of the purple um but it the national institute of health has shown that there are the studies are promising for both all for all of red light therapy blue light therapy and green light therapy whereas red light therapy helps with um i think wrinkles and rejuvenation of skin kind of help with firmness elasticity elasticity um and i think the for what i remember the blue is like for acne type stuff but they said you also have to be careful with that because it can actually stimulate more so i'm not sure how much you know i would go back if you're if you have that issue i would go and read up on it go to the national institute of health and read up on that and determine for yourself whether blue light therapy it might be for you or not as for green light what did they say green light was good for I thought it would be, see, I'm more interested in the red, but it seems like the green would be good for me too. And I can't remember what it was for, but there, but it isn't a gimmick. It does, uh, apparently there is a, stu there are studies that have been done, studies being done, and um, they are showing promises with those. So it is not, it's not a gimmick. It's not a uh, what do you call it? Hocus Pocus. It does seem to work. So on this one, this was one of the more expensive ones. And I thought, well, then it's worth a try because I would like to have something within the, between the two months that I don't have um, the expensive medical unit, maybe this one. So we'll see. And I have been using it. I've used it, I think, three times now. And... Uh, I did notice with the red light, after using it about the third day, I did feel like there was, my skin was, felt stimulated. It was like, felt like I could feel tingling going on in there. And it did feel, to me, it felt tighter. I don't know. But it did seem to have some of the same properties I feel when I use the other one. This one, so we turn it on here. And it has... Oh, glare. Ring light, sorry. Uh, it says clean EMS pulse cool. Okay, so the clean, I think you just put, which if you read the directions, you basically says don't put lotion, I mean, don't put anything directly on here, right? Other than if you want to clean it, use a cotton pad and you can clean it. But it doesn't say, it. this says like, Put your soap on and use it and cleaning. The only thing I care to use this for is the EMS part because that's where your for your re, your rejuvenating part is. And so that to do that, I just hit the same button over, the power button, and that takes me to EMS. And then there's a pulse mode and a cool mode. The cool mode, there's a fan in this. Now the one, the the medical grade one doesn't have a fan. At least it doesn't. It doesn't do, have anything like this. Um, so it, but it does have heat. So when you're on the EMS, it has a little bit of heat. Now, nothing like the medical grade one. The medical grade one is definitely, it has a little more warmth to it. But, um, or quite a bit more warmth to it. This is my, maybe like a tepid, well, is that tepid? Lukewarm? I don't know the difference between the two. One's bound to be a little cooler than the other. Whichever one's cooler, a cool warm, that's that's what this is. So, let's see. It has the light, so you're going to, I think that's it. Yep. So there's your red light, your blue light, and your green light. Okay. And just say, I don't have lotion on, but it says to use lotion. It works better. You don't want to pull your skin, and you always work where you're going up and not down. So let's just try it. And it has different uh, strengths, I guess. So I've got it on the highest one, it's on the EMS. Let's turn on the red light. And you can, can you hear that? Okay. 
and I went down with my hand. So I'm probably going to have wrinkles in my hand now. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it's all pretty anyway. All right. So that is, and so when you turn it off, you can still hear the fan. And it says that it's going to, the fan's going to stay on for just a little bit while that's normal. It will go off. It comes in this box. Now the directions are the most fun things to read on all of these things. Oh, it also comes with a stand. Okay. My medical grade one, that's the one thing I don't like about this, is that for this you charge it here. And it's a C plug. It comes with cord. Not the charger, but the cord. Most everything comes with a cord. Um, this one you just you can set it on here, right? Which I will do now that I've got this display. This I've shown you, but um, the medical grade one that is actually where it charges. So you set it on there, and it will charge it. Which I like that instead of having to charge it separately. No big deal. It's not not like I paid thousands of dollars for it. Okay, so that's this one, but I got to share the instructions with you for just a minute. You're going to laugh I, if this is the one I thought. I still can't, and I still don't understand. I don't know the purpose of the eye chart. That just really gets to me. I don't, I don't know what that's for on that. Why? Why did you do that on that eye mask that they sent me? Okay, so this one, let's see what it says. Uh, Principles Hot and Cold Beauty. Japanese professor shows that repeatedly reaching the skin at a temperature of 42 degree, two degrees Celsius helps to produce protein repair skin cells and strengthening skin elasticity to anti-wrinkles. The warm 42 degree centigrade treatment helps to open the pores of deep cleansing while the cold treatment with a cold effect of six degrees Celsius instantly tightens pores and locks in nutrition. Alternate, alternating warm and frozen skin care stimulates the liquid circulation at the bottom of the skin and speeds up the metabolism of the cells. Okay. That's, that's interesting. I mean, I do that in the shower when I take a shower, it's warm, and then I always kind of cool off, lower the temperature and get cooler uh, water in there so that I, because I know it closes pores and helps with the hair actually if you supposedly um, use colder water it helps close the pores and makes your hair shinier that's what I've heard besides effectively reducing the elimination of dark eye circles which I have and simple eye lines it also brightens skin it, even without makeup the skin is also is also be shiny and bright. It's also be combined with micro. I thought they were doing pretty good up to then. Combined with micro vibration, it's beneficial to enhance the skin's firmness and relieve fatigue. So that is the purpose of that. Now there it said it was that's it didn't come with it, and it makes me want to say something to Tamu because. This says there's a cotton loop that you can put on this. And I know the one that was expensive, yes, it comes with a cotton thing. You can use it. You don't have to use it, but you can use it. But this is supposed to have one too, and it, it didn't have it. So I got I got gypped on that. I don't know. That part kind of frustrated me. I, I realized that was not in there. Okay, next item up. Okay. I'm, so before I got that, I got these, I have a lot of wrinkles in my neck. I had surgery on my neck. I've had a lot of surgeries. I've had a lot of stuff going on. But anyway, not purpose, not because I like surgery. Nobody likes surgery, right? Nobody. You better not like surgery. Unless you're just a doctor and you like to perform surgery. And then it better be because they need it. Okay, so anyway, I had an uh, injury from work, and I ended up having to have surgery, but I ended up having to have it twice because it didn't take the first time the, it, the bone didn't fuse, and so I had to have it twice. So I'm hoping that that machine will help some with the scar tissue too, because it does say it works on scar tissue, and the medical grade one that we all have 
it definitely says that that it will but because I was before I got that and I was looking at these neck massage things that have red light in them as well and I ended up because you know how you do okay you put stuff in your cart I don't know if you've if you've shopped it before you kind of understand this you put things in your cart you don't necessarily buy it you hold on to it for a while, then you go, okay, maybe it's either going to go on sale, maybe they'll offer it to me at a certain price, and you'll go ahead and get it. Okay, so I had this in my cart, and I thought, and then I found one I liked better, because this, the one I first put in was a battery operated, and then I found one that was actually chargeable, and I want, because I wanted one that was rechargeable. I thought I took this out, and I didn't, and apparently, somewhere when I was going through check marking what I wanted, I check mark this so this was the first one I got okay it's a battery operated uh, it's not anything there's nothing bad about it but it's just a massager really it's all it is it just vibrates put some lotion on your on your neck and you know it might stimulate some of the cells in there I don't know I'll probably end up giving this away. Okay. So then I decided I want is this the one? No. I want the chargeable one, right? So again, I bought it. C type cord. Comes with the, the cord. This one doesn't have. Oh, it does have light. Okay, it has light. But it doesn't have massage. It is. It has the levels with the light, and it says clean. It's LED clean. It has MSG, which is massage, and then it says hot. Well, now I'm confused because <laughs> this one does have hot. But does it have hot and massage? Okay, that where it says MSG. Do I have the box for this one? Oh, don't break that one. That's the one I like. Okay. This will work. Okay. Okay. It works. It looks great. Okay. I think it is a little tougher than I thought it would be. So this is the box that came in. Okay. But I don't think, again, it comes with a char, uh, cord, but I don't, and directions, directions aren't always uh, easy to understand, okay, some of them are, some of them aren't, of course, you're going to lift up from your chin to your cheek, your cheek to your outer pampas, whatever that is, I guess that's coming up this way, lift up from neck and neck to chin. Lift up from chin to maxilla. I guess we have to be medical doctors to know what those terms mean. Picture says baseline, cheekbone, neckline, forehead. The head of the massage device, which Massage. There's a red, blue, and green light. No, me oh gosh. Okay. This one actually says no medical effect. So then why do you even give a red, green, and blue light here on the no medical? So this one, apparently the LEDs in this are so, there's probably so few of them that it can't do anything. And that does not come off anyway, so... Yeah, that's on there. So that's the way that's supposed to be. Really? That looks like that should come off. Oh, it does. Ah! Comes off. Well, that changes things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but on this one, apparently the red and the green and the blue light don't have a whole lot of functionality. There's not apparently enough of them to do anything. No medical effect. That's sad. 
function. So this one is gimmicky. Okay, this one's a gimmicky one. But it is chargeable. It does massage, which feels good. Oh, that feels really good, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I could, I could play with that one. So, but this one doesn't apparently have enough LEDs in it to do you any good. They should say that in their description. It's just for prettiness, okay? But it does work, all right? Beeps, goes off, has a cover. Oh, this time it didn't, I didn't know what that was. Silly me. Okay, this is the one I ended up buying that I really like. And I did look up, and it actually does show the um, the range that is that was actually studied in that one I was reading on the National Institute of Health. It actually is within those ranges, except for, was it the green one, I think, was not quite within the range, but all the, uh, the red and the blue were for medical grade, for, for what they noticed in their studies as being beneficial. So I would recommend this one. Now this one, if you, so you can see it's got, so when you turn this one on, okay, you know, it has, its lights are here and here. Now I don't know why, but that's where they're at. Okay. And I'm not sure that to me it looks like, but I guess it's because they got so many of them. This is probably why it's meets the criteria of that one on the NIH. But you hit this, Let's see if it changes the mode, if you can see it. Okay, this one's facial lifting, it says. Oh, this is showing the intensity, okay? This one says facial lifting, this one says wrinkle improver. <laughs> That's funny. Wrinkle improver. EMS tightening. That's the one I would think would be the wrinkle improver. Skin rejuvenation. Now, and you see that, oh, so it changes the light color when you're doing that. So facial lifting is red. There's that purple one. There's the purple one. It says wrinkle improver. And like I said, I did not see anything on the NIH that said anything about purple. Now the EMS tightening, that is just the vibration. Oh, and heat, there's heat in that one. Okay. And then the skin rejuvenation in the blue. And then the facial lifting, and that's Hold it, and it goes off. So this is the one I like. Charges again. C, it's a C plug. And the directions on this one. So I'll be giving the other two away. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. Maybe I'll clean them. Give it a, as a giveaway. Get them all cleaned up. And the other two, just know that that one says no medical for the lights. Um, now this one, because this one gives the ranges where that blue light, how much is in the blue light, if I remember right, because I looked it up. It says the purple physiotherapy is hot with a hot compress and plus vibration. Uh, and then the blue light therapy plus vibration, red light physiotherapy plus vib hot compress plus vibration. So it has all the different modes. Um, let's see, where did I read that? It gave those, and I'm sorry if I'm looking so close, I don't have my glasses on.
Yeah, that's when the EMS heats up to 45 degrees. This is not the one that I saw all that. And it gave all of the lights the amount of energy, I guess, or whatever, watts or whatever it is on LEDs, I don't know, that matched up. But I don't see it on this one, so maybe it's a... I still like this one. Okay, I don't know. Maybe the lights aren't strong enough on that one to do any good. But I do like the way it feels. All right, so that's where we started on those. So I've got two that I've basically spent money on that I'm going to get rid of. Give away. Next thing I want to show you is this really cool, cute little paisley headband. They had them in, I think, solid colors, but I really liked the paisley. So I need to lose some weight, right? It's winter time. I'm like a bear. I hibernate. So get some snowy weather. It's cold. And I've uh, gained some weight. So I've got to do some walking. And hopefully spring is coming soon. And this has got... Here's where the earphones are. And it's got Bluetooth. So and it, you charge it. But, um, hmm. You can take it out to wash. It's very delicate. I would... I'm hoping I don't sweat too much, so I don't have to take it out very often. Sorry, you have seen me just my mouth move. All right, I'm trying to get up here to like show you. So it's not, I mean, it's, it's cheapy plastic, right? It's not, I didn't pay a bit, like six bucks for this. But I'm telling you, sound quality is not bad. It is micro USB, comes with a cord. <clears throat> and these will move around in there. So you have to, so you can put them where, kind of where your, where your ears fit, wherever your ears on, <laughs> wherever your ears are on your head, you can match it up to. Okay, so here we go. This turns it on, I think. Yeah, I think this, you hold that thing right there. Am I wrong? I might be wrong. Come on. Oh, come on. What the? What is that doing? <gasps> That's weird. <laughs> That's... That's weird. Is it on already? Maybe I did turn it on. Oh, that's why it's saying it was connected already, and it's trying to do complete an action. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay, had it on. So anyway, yes, when you're, it's not Bose. You've got, um, but it's a good quality for just taking a walk. You got a plus and a minus for volume. I mean, I was impressed for five bucks. Let's see. I know it's going to look funny. But yeah, got to move my earphones around in there. I'm ready to go take a walk, right? And my ears will stay warm. Right now, I need that. Summertime. I wonder. I wonder if that would work that great. In summertime, being that it does go over your ears. Might just want to use your earbuds in the summertime. Wintertime, this would be great. And it wasn't super expensive. Next thing up, I bought one of their little fitness watches. I've never had owned a Fitbit. I've never owned Apple Watch or any kind of Google Watch or whatever is out there. I've never owned any of this stuff. So I thought, well, let's try it. It was like $13, $14, I think. You know, I'm, I'm not going to say it's probably not accurate on most of the... Um, fitness things like blood pressure because uh, it's supposed to measure your blood pressure measure measure your, um, what was it? Is it it says it on here let's see you have a workout area if a sleep mode um, like if I lay down if I'm sitting in there 
and I'm still, it's going to think I'm sleeping and it's going to count. Like, you slept. No. I played games. It gives you your temperature. Now, I will say, I think the temperature is pretty accurate because my temperature runs usually a little low and it's been right on. I mean, right on that. And it, it measures your, what's it measuring? See, it's trying to measure. What are you trying to measure? See, I don't know. Oh, it's measuring my temperature. That was measuring the air temperature. Okay, let's, let's just put it on. Okay, and we'll see. I like the band. I like that it's thin because I'm, I don't like the big bulky watches. I, that's why I don't want one of those. Don't want an Apple watch because I don't want it taking up half my arm, forearm. Okay, let's see what it does. It's reading temperature, supposedly. Maybe it just went off. Okay, heart rate, let's try that. This is 90. <laughs> I don't know. Is that good or bad? Oh, it's actually still reading. 91. 92. Oh, that can't be right. Is that normal? See, I don't think any of this is right. Accurate. Let's measure blood pressure. So it's, it's measuring, supposedly. I will say this, it gives really good time. I had when I charge I charged it a week ago. I have not had to charge it. Now this is probably correct. 124 over 86. That may be correct. That it might not be. I wish I had another monitor just to play with it and see. Like if I had a blood pressure cuff, I'm gonna have to get one of those and see. But it has a workout mode and it will let you decide. Oh, I can't show it to you. All right, let me take it off again. Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. All right, workout, workout. It has more, so like you can pick your face on here. Um, it has a stopwatch. It has, uh, you can find your phone, which it does work. I found my phone. Okay, um, it tells you what kind, what the mode, or I guess the, about the phone. And then you have your power off and a reset, start over if you want. And then if you get out of that, that's my face that I'm using right now. And I actually had a different face. I don't know how I ended up with this one. It says I walked, <laughs> but I haven't worn the watch today. So I've only walked 16 steps, which I don't think I've even walked. Well, yeah. Maybe. I haven't even walked since I put it on. So that part, it just tells a really good time. That's all I can say. T tells good time. Why are you not? Are you on? Yeah. It just almost went off. That's weird. Okay, so there's that. I have, there's Boo. It comes in this box right here. It is a, it does have the little um, charger you just magnetic charger that hooks to it, which I had to hunt and find. That was one of the things I thought, oh my gosh, I've lost it. And now I'm still wondering what I just did with it. I had it. Oh, here it is. No? Yes. So this is it. That's it. And it's magnetic. Okay, so the next thing I got. All right. I apparently am very concerned about my neck, okay? Three of those things. That one you're having to do this with, right? You're using your hand, doing this. This one you don't have to. This one has these little magnetic pieces here in there there's the so it's the same concept this may be the one that said it was matched up with the uh, NIH so yeah turns on here 
This is what it looks like on the inside. It changes colors. It's going from red to purple. It's like blue. So apparently purple does something, supposedly. But this you wear on your neck and it has massage. Now it says needle, okay? That freaks me out a little bit. I kept thinking, where's the needle? Well, I think what it is is this plate. I think this plate, I think you're supposed to maybe wet your neck a little bit and then put this on. If you use that needle note, because I, I don't know if it would shock you or what. It has massage. What does that say it's doing right now? It just says automatic. So it does, I go, apparently goes through all of it. But let's, I'll show you what this looks like. Okay. Watch TV and I don't have to sit here and go like this. Only thing I'm a little freaked out about is the needle thing. What is that gonna do? Is it gonna shock me? Is it gonna stab me? Why are they saying needle? If it doesn't do anything, it feels good. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty concerned about my neck apparently. Okay, it comes in box. It's called Skinny Face. It's called Skinny Face. Maintenance and cleaning. If there is dirt in the appearance of the product, clean with dry unscrew. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about on their directions, okay? Maintenance and cleaning. I hope I don't laugh. If there is dirt in the dip in the appearance of the product clean with with dry <laughs> okay. can you just read it I guess I'm gonna laugh <laughs> clean it with a dry unscrewed cloth a dry unscrewed cloth or paper towel no need to use detergent. Do not wash it. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> don't, don't use a screwed cloth, okay? <laughs> you want an unscrewed cloth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this paperwork. It seems like it was one of these were so tiny. I tried to use a magnifying glass to read it. This may be the one that said, no, it's not either. What was I reading that had that on there? That made me look it up in the NIH. Okay. This one says, let's see if it says the same kind of, oh, what is the need? I want to know what that needing needle is. Long press on off key to turn on the machine. The buzzer sounds once to set the default alt automatic mode of work. Automatic mode is to automatically cut every, is to automatically cut every 10 seconds of the tuna, who P U I Na in a needing acupuncture? When they say needle, acupuncture, uh, acupressure makes sense. Acupuncture? It's going to stab me. Beating switch between, wait a minute, wait a minute, go back. Short press the switch in the automatic mode, tuna, needing acupuncture, beating switch between, comma, switch to the next mode is the default strength one level. Short press the plus and minus keys to adjust the strength of the switch between one to eight levels. 
Each time you press the button during operation, the buzz sounds. If no operation, automatically shuts down after 15 minutes. Made of three or four stainless steel. That's what that... So I had a spoon the other day that had SUS 304. So the whole thing, it just means... Well, that was interesting. So you lost me for a second. And the reason why is because apparently I didn't turn this off. And it decided it was stop videoing and it stopped that was really weird huh okay well let's just move on because now I'm really terrified over this whole neck massager thing I don't know if it's going to needle me or what hopefully I think they just they have to they have to mean acupressure and acupuncture But it does say red and blue, Blu-ray, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, acne and freckles, purify pores, red light. That's for the blue, the Blu-ray. That's the blue light mode. Repairs acne muscles, uh, cleansing, soothing skin, improve acne skin. Uh, and like I said, you have to read on that NIH because it does say that people who have acne, it can help, but it can also, I guess, for some certain people, it can actually make it worse. Uh, red light, whitening and rejuvenation, skin rejuvenation and wrinkle shrink pores. Lift and tighten, activate skin elasticity, maintain long lasting elasticity and make your skin improve elastic recovery. That's a lot of elastic. Okay, let's move on. Again, I wanna say that again, move on. Okay, I saw some other haul. I wish I could remember all the people who haul. All they're, they're, Every one of them is wonderful. I appreciate every one of them. If I have ordered some things because I've seen some of the products that they've hauled, they've, some of these may be even products that they've hauled that I'm showing. I think this is going to be one of them. This is a sweater shaver, right? All the little pills and stuff that get on your sweaters. I did bring a sweater in so we can play with it and see if it's going to work. I did put it, it is charge, it said rechargeable, which I wanted. I don't want the battery operated. They never seem to last. They don't work as well. I wanted to try one that was charged. Now this is a micro that is rechargeable. This is a micro. That's the one thing I wish everybody would just, please just go one, one kind of plug. I'm so tired of all the. C's and Apple, and it's got to be iPhone, or it's got to be C, it's got to be micro USB. Okay. Sorry. See all those little pills? Let's see if we can do it. There's some. Let's turn it on. Ooh. That's powerful. Okay, here we go. Let's try. Oh! <gasps> That works. Where's all the little things go? The hook's going on. Is that going to cut my sweater? Look at that. That works. Okay, let's try one more. Just to double check. Smells a little funny when it's running. Oh, that felt like it snagged. Maybe I was pressing. It says not to press hard. I swear I'll just do it on that. But it does work. I'm impressed. Okay. Okay. And it's powerful. So don't press hard or it may snag it. It may snag it. But every one of these things that you get that have rechargeable come with the power cord with it, which is nice. But 90% of them are this big. The cord length is this big or this big. Which, I mean, you're going to plug that into the wall and it's going to just sit there and dangle. That makes no sense. If you're going to do that, give us a bigger cord. 
You gotta give us a cord. Give us the right cord, a right size cord. Don't make it ridiculous. We'll do, we've got a few more items. We'll quit for the day. I have another haul I need to do. I've got some more coming tonight. I was expecting some more tonight. This is an LED smart bulb. Changes colors. You can hook it up to your phone. It has an app. So you can change the color in your bedroom. Now, I'm into the chakras and yoga and meditation. And I had the coolest experience when somebody told me, well, you really were in meditation mode, which was the first time I've ever truly been that way. But I went to a salt therapy room. And we actually did the singing bowls, which if you've never done singing bowls, holy smokes, that's really something. I felt like they were inside my head at first. And she said it can be very intense. The teacher who was doing this said that some people have to get up and actually leave the room because it can be so intense. And I thought I was going to be one of those people for a few minutes because it was, it felt like it was going in my head. And I thought, holy smokes. But before I knew it, I just, I kind of let go and relaxed. And by the end of the session, I was seeing these colors. And when I, when it was over, I asked, I thought maybe there was something, and I had my eyes closed, but I thought, well, maybe, you know, cause my, I seem still see light when it's, there's lights on in a room if I close my eyes. And I thought, well, maybe there were, they had lights on in the room. And I remember asking when I, we, it was over and we sat up and everybody was like trying to, well, how was it? And I said, well, did anybody else see colors? And the teacher said, well, uh, my daughter, she said, well, mom, you, you reached full meditation. And I said, well, I, that's what you do when you, that's what happens. And the teacher said, well, yeah, if, you know, start, she said, well, tell me what colors you're seeing. So I told her and I guess they were, I was needing a hug. I needed a, <laughs> a hug after that. So, because I had read, it was my root chakra, and uh, I was seeing lights all four or five different colors, but first thing I saw was red, and then yellow, and then later it was blue, um, which was, the, the teacher said, well, I think you need a hug. So, anyway, it was really cool. But anyway, I told my friend about this, right? Which, she's like my, well, she's my, she was my sister-in-law. And my first husband passed. Uh, we were divorced and he passed. So I still call her my sister-in-law. All right. She was always going to be my sister-in-law or my sister either way. But I told her about that experience and she wanted to, she told me, well, I'm going to get a light bulb. And I said, well, I don't think that's what they did. I mean, it was actually what I saw, not what they produced. And, but she thought, well, I'm going to try it anyway. And then I thought, well, what if you were going to try it, I'm going to try it. So I don't know that I'll ever use this, but it, if I have party, it would be fun. It might be a lot of fun, but I'll try it. I'll plug it in. It actually works with uh, Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. It's, it was less expensive than from Amazon. Okay. Next thing I want to show you is I got for 38 cents, I remember the price of this because I thought this is incredibly inexpensive, right? It's a perfume, not sure if I'm saying it right, atomizer, atom, atom, atomizer, A-T-O-M-I-Z-E-R, S-E-R, atomizer, Z-E-R. But you take and put your bottle of perfume, so, Back in the 80s, ladies, rumba. I loved rumba. I, I, it was Balenciaga. Well, Balenciaga sold out to this person named, or this other company, Ted Lapidus. It's not the same. It's still good, but it's not the same as Balenciaga. But I still like to wear it now and then. And it's definitely that 80s kind of smell. But it says what we do with this is we take this off. And let's try it. It's supposed to fill it. And it's filling it. Look at that. Now is it going to leak? I don't know. 
38 cents. They had them in all kinds of colors. It still smells good. It's not the original, but it still smells good. That's cool. So I'll fill that up. Throw that in my purse. It looks the size of a lipstick. And it's for 38 cents. That was amazing. That was I will re I remember that price. Now I'm gonna put I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put it on this just to see if it leaks. No, it's, it's there's nothing. It's not showing anything, so maybe. Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe I can fill it up and it'll be something I can carry with me. That would be a first because I've always had this big bottle. Okay, another thing. I'm excited. I wanted to show you these. These came in one of the hauls. Not the same haul I got these things in. But I got these and I want to put them out um, because St. Patty's Day is coming up, right? And I have the little uh, garden flags, mini garden flags. So this is St. Patty's Day. Now this is double-sided. It says happy happy patrick's day saint patrick's day and it is double-sided it is feels like it almost feels like one of those it's not satin but it has that satiny feel kind of like what you would get on a pillowcase i don't know how long that's going to last it's probably going to fade out before anything else happens to it it'll fade out but that's okay. It's double sided, and they don't. They weren't expensive. I think they. I think I paid maybe two something for those, which are very nice. This one is really cute. Same kind of material, same feel, and it says Happy St. Patrick's Day. If I can get back here, and I'm gonna use those little plugs I got. If you saw my first haul. You will know that I have, they sent me these little garden stoppers. It looks like a little flower so that when you, so usually the garden flags have a little loop at one end to keep your flag on because you're going to slip your, this uh, sleeve, you're going to slip them over. That is a tiny little sleeve. That's going to take me a while to get around that little loop. That is one, that's a negative for me. I like the bigger, the bigger openings where I can, because sometimes I can get them where the openings are like that on the, on the sleeve, and that way I can just go right over that little loop and I don't have to slide it around it, but that is going to, that's, that's a negative for me. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'll, but yeah, there's a stopper came here and then they had a, another piece that you goes around the rod and then you can hook it to one side of the flag so that if it's windy, only thing that's going to be maybe flapping in the wind will be this side over here. At least it won't be going like this, right? And I got those, so I want to be able to, I wanted to show those to you so we could put them out. And I'm going to stop that right here for tonight and we'll do another one. Hopefully tomorrow, you'll I'll put another one out. We'll see where I get, um, and hopefully I can put these two videos since I got stopped by the fact that I forgot to turn this. I actually didn't turn this off, and I don't know it messed with my camera for some for some reason when I when it was on this. So let's we'll see where we get with that. Okay, um, until we meet again. Bye.